Hi, welcome back to the channel, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be sharing some financial literacy resources I recently picked up. So in a video, and I will link it above, talking about our summer homeschool plans, one of the things we'll be focusing on in the month of July is financial literacy. Financial literacy is something we tend to cover during the summer months. So if you want to see what resources I'm doing for that, but in that video I mentioned that I will be pulling some free resources I found from um, the Federal Reserve. And I said I would make a video when those things finally came in. And again, I will link down below the website. You can access these resources. You can have them sent to you for physical copies. You can also download them on digital devices as well. If you would rather go down that route, you can of course download them and view which ones you want to get because the ones I chose to purchase are some I will use now, some I will definitely use in the future when my kids are older. So when we cover specific civics or economics units, there are some older materials I picked up for that because I figured this is going to be one of the few times I get a lot of this stuff and shipping can take four to six weeks and it's completely free. Everything's sent to you for free, which is really nice. And I will say nothing took that long. Uh, I started receiving, I think one, two, three, four. So I got it from four different federal reserves. So New Jersey, Texas, I think there's a Georgia one in here as well. So I got it from many different areas. So it can, of course, vary depending on where you are in the country and how long it will take. But I received my first package within a week and I think the last one came within three to four weeks. So that gives you an idea of how long these free resources take to get to you. And again, I will link those things down below if you want to check them out and decide which ones you want to get. You can also, I will link below the order form you can get from all at once to fill it out. The reason I did it individually instead of the big order form, because the big order form, some of the things you could get, the smallest quantity was only in quantities of 30. And I don't need that many. I only have three kids, a 10, six, and three year old. So I did get some individually and it wasn't a big hassle to do that. You just filled out a simple um, form online. Again, they send you the information. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the things I chose to get. So the first thing I got was from the Federal Reserve Virginia. And again, some of these will be used in the future. Some will be used. Connection to the economy. So these are all like cardstock. Some of them are kind of like poster boards, as you can see here. Some of them are actually quite long. So this is like a thicker cardstock, not just paper. And this is something I think we'll be incorporating um, this year, this summer. So my money student workbook. So it kind of goes over money. Gives you some different activities to do. Coin puzzle. Goes over bartering, goods and services. So again, this is something, that's why I got two copies for my 10 and six year old. And this is another um, activity book. So it's kind of like the game of life. You choose your lifestyle, career, and you learn how to budget money. And I think this is really um, interesting because it breaks down, you know, transportation costs. If you're taking the bus, if you have a, a you know, not a great car, if you have a newer car, the cost of that and what's going to be monthly, um, you know, keeping in touch, uh, internet, phone, access, things like that, savings, leisurely stuff food and then you break it down here i think this will be eye-opening to my kids to really see you know monthly what it costs to just live so i got two of those and of course what i really like back here is it says choose your career and i do like that it covers both high school diploma certificate associate's degree bachelor's master's and doctoral so i think that's important to talk about the income disparity that occurs between those different things and it gives you a different list of jobs, obviously occupations, income, taxes, and very important, student loan payments. I think that's something that really needs to be talked about with financial literacy, especially with kids going into any form of higher education, even if it's just trade school. Sometimes those things are going to come, even if you go to community college, that's gonna cost some money. But if you do go to higher education and student loans are something that 
you need to take out, which yes, I'm one of those people that had to take out numerous student loans in order to finance my education, how that's going to affect your future life. This is something that wasn't even talked about really um, before I went to college or any of those resources. So I think that will be really useful. The next chunk I got was from the Federal Reserve of Texas, and this is a lot of economic stuff. And again, I only got one copy of these because I think it will just be more informational things. And we actually did utilize this once already when my six-year-old was going over something in history with money. I forget the specific thing, but we did pull this out and talk about um, money and how money is made and things like that. How the, so yeah, it came from the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas how the Federal Reserve works. I think these infographics will be really helpful, especially as my kids get older, to really understand how the government works. And again, these are the thick cardstock. It's not cheaply made by any means. And this will, of course, be helpful when we um, are into our economics. So I did give a couple different little booklets. So this one is Everyday Economics, Globalization. And again, I got this in preparation for the future of what we'll be covering. Same with international trade. This is definitely not something we'll be covering um, this summer, but something we will definitely cover in the future. Next one was free enterprise. So this is the copy of those. Let's see, this one is labor, labor, the economy, and monetary policy. I believe that's, and building wealth, a beginner's guide to securing your financial future. So assets minus liabilities equals your net worth. So learning the language, they have some things they can fill out. So it's more of like a workbook, again, Going over that budgeting and spending, savings and interest, investments, how to build um, credit, control debt, things like that. Things that I don't think are really talked about enough. So I got that from the Fed Reserve Bank of Dallas. All right, the next one is a giant infographic I got. So this is my dining room table and you can see it goes the entire width of it. I'm actually standing on a chair to show you right now, but this is from the Fed Reserve in Georgia. And again, I think these will be helpful to display having those infographics for the kids to look at when we're learning these different pieces of information. And how much do I pay in taxes? So this one is all about taxes. The last stack is from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And these are probably the ones I was most excited for. So they have a series of comic books and they do go in um, order. So they build upon each other. I think this will be a really interesting way to learn, especially since, so I got three copies, one for each of my children, um, my kids to learn, you know, the story of the Federal Reserve System, a fun way to learn about it because my oldest especially loves graphic novels and things like that. The story of monetary policy. And it tells you in the back, um, stay tuned, more economic adventures coming soon. And it goes on to the next of the story. Again, it's that cardstock type material. And then um, I did get an activity book. So how do we get the things we want? So they can color and do the activities in here. What is the economy? So it's one of those you have to open a certain way. 
but I thought this was um, kind of, again, I'll have to lift this up because it's so big, but I think this is a really fun graphic to have about explaining what the economy is. It does have some economist spotlights, which I really like, so it goes over a specific economist. Um, it's got some information and questions and activities in each one of those. Then how do I use economics in my life? Pathway to economics, a career awareness resource. So this is uh, how do I use econo economics? How do I use economics in my life? And you kind of follow the path, so it's a game. I think that will be fun for the kids to do. And these are the other copies of what I showed. So that is everything I picked up. And again, everything's completely free, shipped to you. In my opinion, it's good quality paper, everything like that. And some of it will utilize this summer, some of it will utilize in the future. And I'm sure some of the infographics will be really helpful when we hit middle school and high school as well. So if you have any specific questions, leave them in the comments below. If not, thank you for watching.